Introduction to Current Transformers Part 1 What are CTEs and where do we use them? Current Transformers transforms a current that is at a much higher magnitude and at a much higher voltage to current that is at a lower magnitude and much more safer magnitude of voltage. So let's set up a scenario, okay? So let's assume that we have a power system like a generator for example that's generating voltage at 13.2 kV it's hooked up to a step-up transformer that steps the voltage from 13.2 kV to 115 kV and then through transmission line carries that voltage to a distribution transformer that's in our neighborhood and that distribution transformer transforms the voltage from 115 kV to 12.5 kV which is much more safer and then that volt goes into a facility that we work in and that facility takes in high 12.5 kV voltage. So suppose that we worked at an industrial facility. Inside this industrial facility, we have a step-down transformer that transforms the voltage from 12.5 kV to 4.16 kV. And then uh, we have another transformer that steps down the voltage again from 4.16 kV to 120 volts. And that 120 volt is serving an outlet somewhere. Okay, so so there's an outlet somewhere and that outlet is getting 120 volts. So to set up a scenario where we wouldn't want to use a current transformer, well suppose that this outlet, let's zoom in to this outlet here, suppose that this outlet which is 120 volts, the output of that outlet is 120 volts, is connected to a motor and so the motor is live and when it's live there's some current that is feeding this motor and then suppose that our manager or our super supervisor or whoever comes uh, up to us and asks us well find out what this current is I want you to find out what this current is that's feeding this motor at 120 volt we'd look at him and we'd say well that's pretty straightforward right we know how to do that all we need to do is take our handy dandy multimeter this multimeter is also rated at 120 volts it has a nice digital display here and we would set this multimeter at current value so we're gonna be inputting current what we would do uh, then is that we would disconnect this wire from the motor and then take this wire and go through our multimeter and back into the motor so then what happens to the current is simple right current flows from the electrical outlet current then simply flows through our multimeter and then from our multimeter to the well, motor and in our multimeter it'll tell us what the the value of current is how much current it's flowing let's say that the current it's 6 amps well it's 6 amps at 120 volts. That's how much current that's flowing through this multimeter. Now, what if we had a motor that was connected at the 4.16 kV voltage? And this motor, same concept, right? There is current that's flowing from, from this particular tap, okay? The current is flowing into this motor right here. And then that same person uh, comes up to us and asks us, well, find out what the current is that's flowing to our motor. How would we accomplish this? Can we simply just take our multimeter that's rated at 120 volts and can we do something like this where we disconnect the wires and flow it through the multimeter? Well, the answer is no, we can't. And the reason why we can't is very simple. This multimeter here, it's only rated for 120 volt and uh, the voltage that's hooked up to this motor here, that's at 4.16 kV. So if you try to do that, it'd blow up. Okay, so how would we accomplish this particular task? Uh, and this is where a current transformer comes into play. A current transformer would hook up to this line here at a much higher voltage. This current, which would be a higher magnitude of current, it would transform the current and and bring down the voltage to a much more safer and manageable level so that we could use our handy dandy multimeter okay so we would simply do this right here okay so what uh, I just created this really simple circuit here and the way that it works is that the current that's flowing into this this motor is we'll call this current IP that's the original current the current that's feeding the motor and then we have another current 
current and that's the current that's flowing through our circuit and that current let's call this is and that is is flowing through like that and going into our multimeter and flowing through back that way and then it completes that circuit okay so for a current transformer uh ip which is this current here and is which is this current here they're both related so let's go over some of the terminologies okay so ip is called primary current is is called secondary current and ctr is called current transformer ratio now that ctr is the thing that relates ip to is so this is just a very simplified example of a situation where we would use a current transformer and the basic terminologies that is involved in a current transformer. In part two, we'll look at current transformer polarity marks and we'll also look at the CTR and relate primary current to secondary current. Thank you. This module was brought to you by GeneralPack.com, making power system protection, automation, and controls intuitive.